To down all things 80s, McFarlane's Batman is way off target. Welcome back to All Things 80s, and as you know, McFarlane have been doing a line of retro Batman 66 vehicles, figures, and play sets, and I am all on board with these because I love Adam West, Eater Batman. However, getting hold of these has not been easy, and if it were not for the kindness of Tree Theodore and Jody, I would not have a Batmobile or Batcave play set. The figures have been pretty tough for me as well. I actually ended up getting my figures all the way from Australia, from the website popculture.com. And it's quite bizarre that I had to rely on the generosity of the viewers and me ordering all the way from Australia to get these damn toys in my possession. But that's where we're at these days. Now, the reason for this rant is a few months back, and we could be talking even four or five months ago, Target announced they had another exclusive McFarlane Batman figure, which was the unmasked Adam West Batman. And I, of course, jumped on board and pre-ordered. In the months since, I've had numerous emails from Target announcing a delay, and that I had to approve this delay in order to ensure I would still get what I ordered. I've been doing that, and as recently as last week, I also authorized that delay. And then yesterday, Target sent me an email saying, we've canceled your pre-order, we can't get it too bad. I thought, oh yeah, let me just check eBay. Went onto eBay and boom, there it is. They are available on eBay. So I thought to myself, well, let me just go back to pop culture in Australia to see if they have it. And yes, they did. And not only that, they also had wave two of these figures in stock and available. These figures are not even on the Target website yet. McFarlane website has announced them, but has no way of letting you order them. So I've ordered all these figures and they are going to come to me from Australia. So when you think about this, McFarlane and Target have been unable for me in America to get these toys and I've had to go as far as Australia to get them which is bloody ridiculous. Yes, I'm fully aware that COVID-19 has caused all manner of problems in the world and that toys are the least of people's worries, I understand that. But when you look at the toy aisles and you see the action figure aisle completely bare, yet other toys are still being produced and shipped in abundance. Lego, for example, is floor to ceiling stocked of the latest Lego sets. They can do it. Now, to have a go also, not just at Target here, but also at McFarlane, this wave too is a farce as well, if all truth be told. Wave one had three base figures, Batman, Robin, and the Joker. They also had two chase variants that were showing up randomly in targets, one being an unmasked Robin and a masked Joker. Now, luckily, my order from Australia included the masked Joker, so I scored there, and I'm sad to report that I had to pull the trigger on eBay in order to get an unmasked Robin, and I know we should not be supporting this scalping practice, but I am such a fan of this franchise that I had to get my unmasked Robin. Also, as I said earlier, there was the Target, again, special Target exclusive of the unmasked Batman that was just cancelled on me by Target. But, all told, Wave 1 had two Batman, two Robin, and two Jokers. Wave 2 features three figures. Surf's up Batman, Surf's up Joker, and the Riddler. So now we've got, th within two waves, we now have three Batman and three Jokers. No Penguin, no Catwoman, no Egghead, no Mr. Freeze, but three Batman and three Jokers. It's absolutely ridiculous, and I get it. The Surf's Up line was a very simple alteration to the sculpt. Just alter the hips, 
to put on the board shorts and paint them up. But that is taking the piss to think that over the course of two waves, we have three examples of two of these characters. But it is what it is. And obviously, I'm not heavily involved in modern collecting, but I have full sympathy with you guys who do this on a regular basis and are continually being disappointed with pre-orders getting cancelled and with, you know, continual repaints. It really is taking the piss and these companies are making big assumptions that we are going to continue forking out our money and sadly, as I am proving, we are doing it. Uh, you know, things like this Rancor business, I, I don't know why people would uh, give Hasbro all that money for, what is it, 350 bucks for this big Rancor, which I guess it's cool and all, but I don't see it being worth 350 At least the McFarlane Batman things are reasonably priced. And, uh, you know, sadly, as if they keep producing, I will keep buying. But it's just very frustrating to think that me living here in America had to rely on a very kind donation which originated in Holland, was purchased in Australia and then shipped to me. Uh, my other Batmobile from Tree Theodore came from the West Coast to the East Coast of America and my figures that I bought came from Australia and the next set of figures are coming from Australia. Makes no damn sense but that's where we're at. So there you go. So anyone out there who is in a similar position to me and had your unmasked Batman order cancelled, they are available on popculture.com and when you factor in uh, taxes and shipping, they work out it being about 20 US dollars a figure. So it's not a huge increase on the target price and you are guaranteed to get them. And as I just said, I lucked out with my first order where they did send me a chase variant of the Joker. So I was very happy with that. So there you go. That's my current thoughts on the Target and McFarlane Batman retro line. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Special thanks goes out to the patrons. Please like, please subscribe, and as always, stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s.